so you got your board all laid out, got your Gerbers generated, and you got your boards ordered. Um, you still will probably want to make some sort of drill template since we've got the pots um, board mounted. Uh, and now, easy to do that, just go into add part, and we're going to add a um, 1590B enclosure model like we used earlier to get our uh, figure out our sizing and stuff uh, and get this centered on your board probably zoom in and click and then hit escape we also need to add a foot switch there's a model for that uh, go down here and we got there's a lot of models for a bunch of different enclosures included um, as well as a few, there's the Lumberg small profile jacks, a couple different models for that, um, the small DC jack, and then um, like Switchcraft um, enclosed jacks, which, I'm, which I like to use. Um, I'll include that here. Rotate with right click. There. Do the drill part of it. This just helps you see, okay, what all can I fit in this enclosure? Is I, have I made my enclosure too big or my board too big? Do I need a bigger enclosure? Um, that sort of thing. Um, we can add this here. All right, so that looks even. And we need the DC jack. So let's grab that. Uh, and there would be room if you wanted to to put it down here on the side um, but since our input for DC power is up at the top let's go ahead and just stick that up here in the middle there you go and then the drill um, all right so there we go and you can adjust that as as you want you might want to move this up a little or move the jacks down or whatever um, and you can do that easily once you've got them spaced out right by just grouping them together and just move them down however you want oops there we go and uh, from here we just need to export an image um, we probably, especially if you have other pots underneath the board, you don't need all the, you know, other components. They're not needed for the drill template. Um, so what you can do is go up to our layer settings and turn off what we don't need. So we don't need top or bottom, the pads really. Um, well, we do want the dimension of the board. That's kind of helpful. Um, back place. Well, we do want back place. Um, because that's got all these file or uh, models on it. Um, leave origins, uh, top origins off, but back ones on. It's not a bad idea. And turn off names, and then top document should be everything you need. And then hit OK, and you can again save that. If you right click on that and save it as a new layer preset, I already have this saved as drill and that I took off the names but you get the idea so from here then we're going to go up to options user interface change the layout background to white and hit OK so now we're now we're looking at the 1590b as if we were holding it in our hands looking at the open the back part of it and for drilling we need the other way around so come up here to flip board click it and now this is the gain control, this is the volume control, input, output, DC jack, foot switch. Uh, and this is the right way around. <laughs> um, and so then we'll go up to file, export, image. Um, 300 is fine since you're just gonna print it. Um, probably best to do it in monochrome and save it as 1590B drill save okay and then pull up here and we should see there we go. 
open that up and there's your drill template. And you can just throw that into Word or just print it directly from here and make sure your scaling is at 100% and it should print to scale.